Guys, Bitcoin is forming a new chart pattern right now that could help us fix this very bad situation that the Bitcoin price is in right now because we failed to break out yesterday and the weekly chart is right now exactly at our eight year support and resistance. So the bulls and the bears could decide any second in which direction we are going to go with the Bitcoin price in the next couple of days, the next couple of weeks and also the next couple of months because we are trading a support and resistance line on the weekly time frame and this really decides on if we have a drop down to this support area every time we got rejected from our eight year support you can see or we drop down the eight year support and resistance line you can see huge drops were incoming on the weekly time frame for bitcoin and this chart pattern today could decide and it's going to break out today like i mentioned guys this chart pattern could decide if we see a massive drop like this or a continuation like we see when we broke the eight year resistance to the upside you see, we always have a huge, 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 huge run up. So um, it's going to be very interesting um, what the Bitcoin price does today. And we want to jump right into the charts. I don't want to waste any time, guys. Let's just jump right into the smaller time frames. I'm for sure going to give you an update on my trades as well, because right now I still have almost $10 million in long positions open. And we really have to keep an eye on the Bitcoin chart today, because if we break this new chart pattern to the downside, I'm definitely going to close some of my positions this is for sure other than that guys i would really appreciate it if you could leave this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and activate the bell and leave a comment down below and for sure also share the video with the share function from youtube this supports me the most and helps me to get this new channel into the algorithm thank you very much guys for your continuous support let's just jump right into the smaller time frames and as you guys can see we are forming a falling broadening wedge as you remember i uploaded my yesterday's video at this exact moment here i told you guys that i expect with this bounce of this um, falling wedge that we had formed here and that i mentioned in yesterday's video i said that i expect a run-up back to our very important resistance line and we also saw that run-up right after my video the only sad thing is for sure that the bulls didn't manage to close the four hourly time frame or the four hourly candle above this very important resistance. They got sold off massively by the bears. The bulls really got, uh, got, uh, got dumped on really by the bears. And since then, we are seeing a continuous downtrend that is... Um, yeah, looking to um, come to an end maybe today with the help of this falling broadening wedge. But I can already tell you guys, we need to bounce right now. We need to bounce with the next two four hourly candles because otherwise, if we stay down here, this falling broadening wedge will get invalidated. So we really need to see a bounce today. And um, if we see a bounce today, this falling wedge is already completely complete. So with the next retest, we need to expect the breakout with this falling broadening wedge pattern if it plays out like a falling broadening wedge should do. And as you guys know, a falling broadening wedge also has a higher probability of breaking out to the upside if we are coming into it with an uptrend. And as you guys can see, we have a small uptrend. We are forming this falling broadening wedge. And this would definitely be a big, big continuation chance for the bulls. But why do I think that this is not a guarantee? I think this is not a guarantee because as we know, the bulls are not 100% confident at the moment. We have a lot of people that are very bullish, but on the other side, we have a huge amount of people that are also very bearish. So right now, I feel like the market is split with their opinion where the Bitcoin price is going to continue. And we have a big, big problem with that because the bulls are really uh, the, the ones that have to push right now. It's not the bears that have to do a big push, it's the bulls because we have to bring this weekly chart above this eight year resistance uh, in the best case till the end of this evening because each day, this weekly candle, I mean, we have six days left till we close it. So the bulls definitely have a chance to, even if we drop down to $45,000, the bulls could buy the weekly chart back up again and we wouldn't have a big problem. But still, every day we close below this eight year support and resistance because this eight year support and resistance also exists on the daily chart. Every day we waste in a kind of way with the weekly chart below, with the weekly candle below the eight year support and resistance, 
the chances of us getting back above it are getting lower and lower and lower and lower. And that's why I want the Bulls to take that chance today and break out of this broadening wedge on the four hourly time frames to the upside. So guys, I can already tell you, keep an eye on the charts, don't miss this breakout. And if we break to the upside, I can already tell you, I will not, I will not scale up my positions. I will definitely wait till we break this very important resistance area at 49,200 to $49,300. If we don't break this resistance, I won't scale up my positions. And also for sure, guys, as you know, I opened a new long position. As soon as we broke out of our symmetrical triangle right here, I opened a new long trade. In the case that Bitcoin now fails to bounce on the lower support area that we have um, combined with our falling wedge and our falling broadening wedge, we have a very strong uh, support area, a very strong area of confluence yeah, where the bulls uh, have, have, have a good uh, traded volume and they can also use the support area to bounce off of. As long as we don't break below the support area at approximately yeah, $47,200, as long as we don't break the, um, uh, the $74,000, I think we should be fine. Um, so as long as we don't break that, I won't close my trades. If we break below it, I will close my trade with a plus minus null that I opened here uh, with a plus minus zero. I will um, open, uh, I will close that trade. That's for sure. So I will scale down a little bit if we break here to the downside. But for now, it's looking not too bad. We just have to keep an eye on the charts. This for hourly candle, if the bulls maybe manage to buy it up a little bit more even, this for hourly candle would close pretty nicely. It would look like a four hourly reversal candle. And uh, I think today is, is, is just going to be an insanely interesting day. So guys, keep an eye on the charts. Um, we are really in decision mode with this huge weekly time frame. It's uh, every day counts here. And uh, I will definitely keep you updated each day because each day will be relevant for this weekly close now um, since we closed the last week above, but immediately dumped since the bulls didn't get um, didn't get through this very important um, horizontal resistance that we have on the smaller time frames. So um, it's really, really interesting to see what is going to happen. And uh, we all, always have to be ready to scale down or scale up our trades um, because otherwise we are just wasting maybe profits that we took in the past. But I see that the Bitcoin is right now bouncing. So I want to upload this video as quickly as possible. As you know, guys, as always, if you like the content, please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, activate the bell. This supports me a lot and share this video with the share function and leave a comment down below if you want to help me to push this YouTube channel into the YouTube algorithm. And other than that, I would say we are seeing us tomorrow again. Till then, bye, bye.